Darth Sim? Yeah, d dark, dark Sim. Dark Sim. And this is 5v5, so 20. Yeah. All right, so we got Dark Sim versus Tech 9. Tech 9 being Tech Zero's younger brother, one of the hidden bosses of New Jersey. You don't see him all that much uh, around tournaments, but he is a force to be reckoned with, I can tell you that much. He was, uh, rumor has it he was named as such because when uh, Tech Zero and Tech Nine were practicing wall techs, Tech Nine was able to get it nine out of ten times, and Tech Zero got it <laughs> zero out of ten times. And that's uh, supposedly where they got their tags. But uh, Tech Nine is a great balance of uh, calculated spacing and awesome uh, tech skill follow ups. So we'll probably be seeing plenty of that in these matches. Oh, risky Ooh, very smash. risky forward smash. He's gonna get punished for that. There's the stock. All right, Tech Nine already taking a, a pretty solid lead, but we'll see how quickly he swings around. Dark Sim. Ooh, there we go. beautiful knee. The classic. That's gonna take out Falco. Ooh, beautiful there gentleman. Dark Sim, he's doing a good. He's not really, he's not really downright challenging or trying to approach, but he's, uh, he's, uh, he's intelligently uh, punishing uh, Tech Nine's falters as as he uh, tries to go in and maybe messes up a little bit of Tech Skill. Absolutely. You know? So he's more on the defensive, but that all, that could also work to Tech Nine's advantage. If his Tech Skill is on point, then he'll manage to uh, continue putting on the pressure. Ooh, that fair on shield there. Ooh, the non gentleman, but he manages to escape, uh, buffering a roll. Mm -hmm. It is now. It went down for a second. Yeah, stream, stream should be up right now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And oh, oh gets the first knee. Tech Nine should be able to knee. barely makes it back from that. Oh. Punishes that recovery. And goes for goes for a risky straight up uh, firebird that may have been a technical error, but he, he got punished for it. And now we are nearly even. Nice, nice down air. Great with way, uh, wave landing on those platforms. It's kind of a Falco fundamental, but it's always beautiful when you pull it off nicely. Ooh, good space F tilt. Uh, avoided the uh, grab of Dark Sim there. Spacey tilts are so underrated. They're yeah, so good. I, I completely agree. Ooh, that forward air. <laughs> that Falco is a helicopter. Oh my goodness. Once again, Ooh, with a solid beautiful one power shield. I'll be very happy if he manages to two stock in here. Just need to get a nice clean stock. Ooh, okay. Dark Sim jumps right over the, the shine pressure. Gets in, but uh, Tech Nine turns it right back around. Tech Nine's really getting mileage out of the forward air. Yeah. Ooh, these these platform tech chases right now. <laughs> Dark Sim with the crafty. After Captain Falcon up bees, the drift always catches you off guard. It's really it's for some reason it's just really hard. Okay, there's the back air. Nice, solid. Comfortable two stock from Tech Nine. Uh, we'll see who uh, NJIT brings out next. So we got 16 to 18. Um, just to give you an idea of who just played, that was from Rutgers. We had. Got to bring up the player card here. We got them all in queue. That nice. was Tech Nine. Oh snap! Oh snap! We got an ice climb. Where's he at? So that's who just <laughs> that played. Picture. And um Yeah, yeah, of course not. He's a hidden boss. Hold up for hold up for us, guys. And then we got um He's Fry Cook. Versus Fry Cook. Cook. Right, so first it's Smash Man, it's right. one and two. We got Ices. Okay, Ice Climbers. Dude, he's stacked with those chips right there. Yeah. You saw that in that picture. Yo, we got these brand new jerseys. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, they are. Tell me those are hard, really tell me nice. Right We've you. been Pitt's been looking into getting something like that. How much does run, you guys? They are um. Like forty each, but we got them down to like eight per person. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, sponsorship That's awesome. helps a lot. So, like uh, like uh, Best Boy said, around eight per person. They're legit. If you play your cards right. Oh yeah, we're we're ready, right? Yep, yep. You yeah, guys are good to go. Ahead. All right, here we go. We got uh, Tech Nine with two stocks remaining versus Fry Cook.
Fry Cook opts for Final Destination, uh, a natural choice for this matchup. Yeah, uh, Ice Climbers do really well here. Yeah. We're going to yeah, get right with, into it. Without, without platforms to separate Popo and Nana, it's, uh, what is it, uh, combos and grabs are far more reliable. Absolutely. Now, if Falco stays really safe with lasers Woo! and doesn't try to go in, then this is what happens. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we got wobbles. We got wobbles. We got wobbles. A disc hit boogie, the uh, resident this ice timers player is jumping up a day. He's popping off. Okay. <laughs> He's losing his mind. Okay. We'll see what Tech Knight can pull off. Yeah, and it's tough because uh, Tech Knight really, really likes that close-up pressure. But if he so much as falters his tech skill a tiny bit, uh, Fry Cook can get in a grab, and that could be the stock. So we'll see if Tech Knight uh, opts for opts for uh, some comfortable spacing instead. You know, he manages to separate Nana here and see if he takes her out. Ooh! Ooh she rolled Nana out of that roll! <laughs> Uh-oh. And Nana's back in a safe position behind Popo. Oh! oh no! Tech 9! You hate to see that happen. Yeah. The, uh... You, you and we're at even in game. You know, if, you, if you're hugging the ledge and you short hop laser, you can drop right off, and that'll be your stop. Absolutely. It's an unfortunate here, let me move error. over here and get you in. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, get you into the camera there. Yeah. It's a pretty wide yeah. angle. I... What? Who? Rutgers is deciding their teammate. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Diz is laughing at me. <laughs> What's your tag, man? Deaths. All right, sick. So that was who you guys just saw play. He's still up. Really strong ice climbers. And this is who you guys got coming up. Look at the picture. What the? What on earth? You can't, you can't even see who he is in that picture. Anyway, we got. Wait, is this working? Oh, wait. I turned you off so you could do your. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. We're good. All right. We got thefts. Another local workers player. I watched this guy go from uh, zero to uh, to moderately good. <laughs> so, no, he's he's solid. He uh, he started off as a Luigi player and now plays as Samus. Though I, I have not seen him play against Ice Climber, so we'll see how this goes. Four stocks versus four on Dreamland. Naturally a comfortable Samus stage. Oh, Ooh, no, no, no. Right All right. at he's, at, he's at the ledge. He's safe. He's safe. He just... I don't know. You just, you really, really have to know Samus to edge guard her in that kind of situation. Absolutely. You know what I mean? uh, that could have been trouble for, for thefts, though. And especially as ice climbers, I feel like they would struggle to edge guard a character like Samus. Yeah. When only Marth and Sheik are the characters that really get out there and right, push her right. away. Yeah. And thefts is really trying to play a nice, uh, kind of campy spacing game here. Spacing out his F tilt to use Ooh. a lot of missiles, but, uh, what is it? Fry Cook is challenging those missiles with his uh, icicles. There we go. Nice down smash. Wow. That wave dash forward smash. Baiting with Nana. Fry Cook only at 40% right now. Nana's a little bit higher. If he manages to take out Nana, there we go. Ooh. Nice F smash. Beautiful F smash. That's it for Nana. All right. Fry Cook could have a little bit more trouble with this stock now. Hopefully, uh, Thefts will be able to close out the gap. Ooh, goes for a risky up B, but it is surprisingly safe. Ooh. Just taps him there with that uh, uncharged new. <laughs> that little tap there right there. Samus is in there, man. Ooh, nice! Up tilt down smash. That was an interesting bait. Nice. The Shoulder windmill bash. of Fury. Oh, Ooh. wow. Fast fell right through the F smash. Puts Thefts in a compromised position, but he manages to get back Beautiful into the well-placed forward. forward. A nice F smash, and that'll be Fry Cook's stock. Evening it back out. Ooh. Nice wave dash down, down smash. smash. And what are you going to do but kind of just wait for Samus to float back on, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Ooh, we got a grab, though. Ooh, but those down throws don't have any follow-ups against Samus. That's tough. She's you know? far too floaty. It's for yeah, those, it's uh... it's wobble or nothing. <laughs> All right, ooh, nice F tilt. Got that clank there. Up smash, up B. Oh, that's a grab. 
We're in trouble. Oh, no! We got there the it goes. There's the wobble. That down throw to Nana's down air. Oh. Up smash. All right, and that's it. Two to three? Yeah, that's one stock down now. Ice climbers yeah. are so good yeah. in cruise. Now, hopefully, he, he'll manage to adapt and... uh. You know, learn what's safe versus unsafe. Oh, oh no! Okay, he breaks away. He breaks away. We are Great a low percent mash. there. Nice mashing. That's some brawl tier mashing right there. You ever notice me melee players just like don't mash out of grab? They no, wait, like, they're three more worried about the DI. Mashing. Yeah, exactly. But then brawl players like they mash out like they're at seventy percent. They mash out if you hit them like once. It's crazy. <laughs> so I started buffering down throws out of pummels. All right. <laughs> So these icicles are giving Thefts trouble, just pushing him towards Ooh. the ledge, setting him up for a grab. Uh, but Frycook doesn't manage to get the combo off of that one. Still puts Thefts in a compromised position. Uses a nice ledge roll to uh, to uh, get past Frycook's pressure there. Ooh, Ooh double Beautiful. F smash. That's going to be trouble. Let me use the bathroom real quick while Thefts recovers. See, this is like really the only so tool. Oh! Wow, but sets it works up. for him. Just baits him right into, sets him up right into the up B and punishes it with an F smash. That non-sweet spot. This isn't looking good for Thefts. Frycook has taken quite a, quite a few stocks off Ooh, at this point. Wow. That oh, wow. That desync so hype. That desync. Ooh, that was a really well placed F there. Nice, makes it back. Ooh, that was a solid up B. Separates Popo and Nana, gets back into a safe position. He was able to turn that There's the F smash. Nana's out. Oh, no. Frycook's going to nice and gets a safe side B in. The side B is also surprisingly hard to, uh, to punish. Especially as Samus. Like, yeah. your only option is to get out there and there. Okay. Now Nana's out. Uh, Frycook's not going to be able to take that one back. So, uh, hopefully uh, Thess will be able to close out this stock. If Frycook plays extraordinarily well, then he might be able to save it here. But it's not looking too good. Ooh, wow. Just Ooh, that one, that one little hit on the, the side B direction. made it safe. Nice F smash. That's Way that's right it. behind him, F smash. A little cross up there. Uh, each of them with one stock remaining, but Thefts. It definitely a tough position. Manages to make it back with the up -beat. Nice to Ooh! Separates Popo and Nana. What I really like... There we go. What Nana's out. Nana is oh, out of the wow. picture. wow. It's beautiful. All right. Now this is looking a little bit more even. Thefts has the percentage, but uh, Frycook is down on Popo. Thefts is quickly catching up with the well Getting well-placed a lot missiles. of mileage nice out of those missiles. Ooh, a grab! A beautiful grab. Just, oh, man. Doesn't it just feel so good when Samus grabs? You're just like, oh, Like, you know, you need so to change So slow. It's like a hard read just to get a grab. Yeah, it feels so nice. I love it. All right. We are dead even now. Beautiful forward smash. With Frycook without Nana, it's not looking so great. See if Thess can close this out. Shoulder bash, and F-Smash would have done it, but uh, don't really have much There we go. Beautiful All forward right. smash. And Thess brings it back. Frycook. Now, it's funny because New Jersey is terrified of ice climbers because we don't really have uh, that many ice climbers players in general. So you go to like, or at least around the Rutgers area, we go to eight on the break. You know, Diz Kid Boogie shows up, and he, you know, he, he puts in work. Yeah, we don't have it like any ice climbers in Pittsburgh either. We have one in Ohio, and that's it. Like, <laughs> I see. We don't have anything in Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's pretty rough. And for such a strange, unconventional character that you really have to know you the matchup. You have to know exactly if you wanna, what yeah, you're doing. If you want to avoid those, you know, those deadly punishes, All right, you really so gotta we know got what you're who's doing. coming in really here. Glad to have seen that happen. So that's who you just saw play. He's still in. What's your tag, man? I don't think he heard me. Right. Yo, what's your tag? <laughs> what is it? Zofri. Okay, we got him. All right, so All he's right. a chic player. Yo, he got that Bieber swag right there. Let right. me know when you guys are ready. All right, they're good to go. Uh, one second here. Just got to type your name in. All right, okay. so we're going to get into it. Yep, Thefts with only one stock remaining. We'll see how much work he'll be able to put in with this one stock. Not familiar with uh, Zofri on the skill spectrum. So I have no predictions here. Zofri could take him out immediately. Thefts could uh, possibly sneak in a stock before he goes out. We'll mm -hmm. see what happens. Let's go. Sheik Samus, I mean, definitely in Sheik's favor, but Samus definitely has some tricks. Yeah, there we go. Nice up, he had a shield. If That's with this this spacing right now. These perfect wave dashes and, and F tilt's going in. Ooh, nice. 
See, if you don't, you can't, uh, what I see Zofri doing is he's throwing out a lot of moves on her shield instead of just grabbing her. Like, Samus' crouch cancel, you oh, have, to, you have to do things like this. Yeah, you're right. But even then, what follow-ups does Sheik have at a down throw? You might get a tech Un chase in, but you're Under not Under the platform, jump up and grab her, because she's always floaty enough to tech. True that, true that. That's good, but that that's Ooh. that's matchup knowledge right there. Ooh, nice down throw to, uh, to Nair. See, like that, I really don't like these... Full hop forward airs at all. Yeah, you're right. Thefts is, is using very well timed uh, wave dash backs to, to punish them quite easily. Samus nice can crouch there. cancel your forward air until like Ooh, 100%. Ooh, that whole takes the stock! All right. All right, Thefts is putting in work. Thefts getting really good value yeah, out of yeah, the stock he's, he's, already. He's in net positive on his stock count. He's taken out five stocks so far. Ooh, risky down smash. That's going to lead to a F tilt F air, but not nearly enough percentage to take him out. Ooh, that was a really good spot dodge right around the down tilt. Again. See, and this is the other end of the spectrum where when you start realizing she's crouch canceling you, all you're trying to do is grab her. Samus' spot dodge is pretty good. Yeah, but Theft seems to be uh, getting a really good handle on exactly when Zofri is gonna get in, uh, going to go in. And mm -hmm. He's getting these really amazing uh, spot dodges against him. So it's going to be a matter of, uh, you know, who can adapt to who. If uh, Thefts manages to get this recovery. Ooh, nice. Tether on the battlefield. Nice. Another, see, another spot dodge. He's doing a really good job with those. Puts Sheik in a compromised position with, uh, you know, oh, that force recovery. Oh, beautiful Ooh, nice up tilt to back air. Wow, what an F tilt. This is going to be That's tough. That's it. Ooh, nice. He went, he went for the mix up. Uh, if he were to go for the stage, then Samus could easily crawl into the stage and uh, uh, down smash to death. So one of the uh, only options is to go for this mix-up, trying to hang on the stage and hope Samus lets go, which was not the case. Ooh, going for some swag here. <laughs> no, oh, quite. almost he makes it back it. after the mess-up. Yeah. But still, incredible value out of that one stock. Yeah, absolutely. That's with a net positive of two. He took out six stocks. Uh, Rucker's feeling a uh, pretty decent lead right now. Ten stocks to twelve. So this is the Sheik that you just saw. Rutgers is deciding. All right. All, right. All right, we are bringing in Takoyaki. All right, let me throw up his card here real quick for you. All right, Takoyaki is known locally as Alex the God. There we go. <laughs> that keeps happening, not sure Perfect. Why. So this is Takoyaki. He is the definition of hidden boss. Okay. Uh, he has he has been playing for years just locally. Didn't enter tournaments. Just played friendlies all over the place. Nobody knew who he was. One day he started going to locals. They ate on the break. Started you know bodying pretty much everybody. He's like you know going even against like Tech Zero. Tech Zero. Oh, like, okay. Who is this wow. Guy? It was it was really fun to watch. He's definitely gotten really uh, solid over time. Especially once he started you know showing up to these tournaments. Uh, he's adapted his play style really handily. And so I expect him to put in some really solid work against Zofria here. He was also my roommate for four years, so <laughs> we we kind of uh, trained together. All right, so we're right. on the battlefield. Battlefield is our stage of choice. Uh, Zofria down two stocks. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! go. Okay, so this is definitely there we go. neutral in this matchup, I think, for this stage. Uh, definitely a good choice for Sheik, I think, because... Ooh, what an F smash! <laughs> oh, that was perfect. I was going to say, Spacey's can't oh ride goodness. the wall, Alex but... The God. doesn't look like this fox is going to get hit off stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alex, uh, Takayaki is a pretty aggressive kind of tech skill junkie, and you'll really feel it in his play style, but it always tends to work out really well for him. Uh, he's managed to... Ooh, nice jump mm. out, of, out of the up smash. I don't think that was supposed to be an up smash. I think that was supposed to be like instant oh, up air okay. to follow Ooh, him again. That was a missed opportunity as well. Ooh, nice. He uh, read onto it, the platform. Yep. but just too low. Let's see if he managed to get back. Ooh, nice. Gets Beautiful by the, down smash. Gets killed by the down smash. Definitely looks Takiyaki more familiar stock. in this matchup. Yeah. So free. Yeah. But uh, recently, takiyaki has been able to balance his aggression with some, uh, with some really cool calculations, <clears throat> further enhancing his uh, play style. Ooh, that's crash cancel dash attack. Ooh, nice. Oh, I'm feeling it right now. Oh, it charged up smash. Oh my goodness. Wow, that reverse back air. 
Okay, ooh, that side B landed right in uh Ooh, I really DC like those smash. grounded needles right Wow, there. nice. Turn around with uh, Shine. Misses the down smash, but putting uh, pressure on Zofria in the ledge. Zofria misses the uh, follow-up after forward air. Anybody can take the next stock. There's an right up smash there. out of shield. Zofria is out. Takayahi losing one stock, but taking two. And Rutgers uh, continues uh, their lead. Up three. He really, really liked those phrase on shield, but right. you got to make sure you're spacing those correctly. All right, who do we have next? I believe we have... What's your tank? Uh, Kevorkian. Kevorkian. There we go. All right. I've seen Kevorkian around, but I don't I don't quite remember uh, his Okay, he's level. a doc player. He's Dr. Mario player. All right. So uh, that puts Takoyaki at the matchup knowledge disadvantage. Oh, really? Which, okay. Uh, yeah, because, you know, how many how many docs are around, you know? We don't, we, I hear. We don't really have any around Rutgers. So we'll see, uh, you know, how Takoyaki fares against this. Of course, uh, if there's enough of a skill level gap, that'll, that'll close the uh, matchup knowledge gap. And Takoyaki will very handily handle it. All right, both going for some solid spacing, but Takayaki managing to uh, to push. What is? Wait, what did you put? I, I don't know. What's his tag? It's, it's like Kavorkian. Ka oh, Kavork. Sorry, it's been a early it morning. Might be K E, but <laughs> we'll we'll settle for that. I'm sorry, Kavorkian, <laughs> if we spell that wrong when you're uh, back watching the vods. But <laughs> now I hear uh, Fox players complain about Dr. Mario all the time. Because he gets out of all Fox's layups, and he has really good layups on Fox. That is very true. Those up throws are going to pose trouble, especially on Final Destination, where there are no platforms to run to. Mm -hmm. That's definitely why he chose this stage. Ooh, missed uh, up smash on Takayaki's part. They are dead even right now. See if Takayaki manages to uh, adapt to Dr. some of Dr. Mario's tricks. Oh, it just went for the F-Smash. That's pretty high, though. Another one! Okay. Uh, solid neutral air. Ooh, manages to get back on. Takayaki misses the shine. Nice grab. This is going to be trouble for Takayaki. It might be the stock. Ooh, nice recovery. Ooh, the standoff. Ooh, nice. Kevorkian knew that was coming. Timed his cape accordingly. Oh, wow! Just the, that jab pressure. Knew exactly when he was going to try to back away. Wave dashes to close the distance. Gets in a jab to up smash. That was beautiful. Okay, we got up throws, but misses the chain grab, and that puts him in a compromised position. This might be it for the Ooh. stock. No! Takayaki lets go at an inopportune time. Let's Kevorkian grab the ledge. Ooh, beautiful forward air. Ooh, nice neutral air. That takes him off. I think he wanted to back here there, but just hesitated. Yeah, that's that's what I was. That's the vibe I was getting as well. Okay. Tough to deal with Takayaki's pressure. Even even that down smash ended up being safe. That's interesting. But when when Kuvorkin gets in like a, a solid hit or a grab, that's when Takayaki is in serious trouble. But he's really not letting that happen. And that's uh, allowing him to close the stock gap here. Ooh, that was an up tilt. Wow, wow. nice! Chased him down for that up Beautiful. smash. Beautiful. Ooh, jumps right over that down smash, manages to get in a drill shine. The pressure continues. Takayaki's playing really smart. He's yeah, not overextending on Doc, which is where Doc. Oh, there we go. We got a forward air. Can really punish Fox. Yeah. He's just he has all these really awesome cross-ups. He he seems to be putting himself exactly where Kavorkian isn't thinking to attack. Uh, as he's you know, as he's closing the distance. Wow, Beautiful another smash weak again. back air to up smash. Alright, we are one stock to one. Takayaki again with a net positive on his uh, stock count. <laughs> these pills. Oh wow! He <laughs> runs in with a shine to grab. He's he's really trying to force Kevorkian off stage here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's the stock. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna jump in here. All right. So, anyone wanna you wanna take over? All right, Tech Nine's gonna be jumping on the mic. Right, I'll see you guys on the battlefield.
What's up, Tech Nine? Yo, what's up? I liked your uh, player card image. <laughs> it's uh, just the Tech Nine. Uh, don't Sorry, we changed our mind. Oh, okay. We, uh, we're putting Swedish. You can still commentate if you want. We're putting Swedish in? Okay. Let me bring up Swedish's card here. So, would you say Swedish is your strongest player? Uh, yeah, on Rutgers, yeah, definitely. Okay. So. Now, I love me some good cheek, so I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so All right, yeah, I this think matchup. Um, this is yeah, this is pretty rough for uh, Doc. It's Definitely. rough for Doc, but Doc does have a chain grab on cheek. Uh, I mean, you have to get in first. <laughs> yeah, which is hard. It's Swedish is it's likely not gonna let Kavorkian get in on him. All right. All right. Uh, the one thing about Swedish is his spacing is really solid. So it's going to be extra tough for Doc to get in since he doesn't really have any good offensive like approach options. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty difficult. And especially like that, the Swedish's fundamentals is really going to be hard. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. Well, that was a risky down B. Could have got aired. This is it. Doc's recovery is too bad. Uh, give me a quick work of that. Do not let Dr. Mario touch your genitals. He is not a licensed doctor. That was that was Internet Explorer. Um, okay. That's Swedish Delight. So we got All NGIT's right. last player, Quirb. Okay, gonna bring up Quirb. All so right. if you don't know Quirb, Quirb is godlike Game & Watch player. Uh, it's been in the mole stream a couple times. Yeah, these two definitely know how, like, definitely know each other. They play each other a lot, so. Okay. So now he just knows how to approach this matchup, and plus it's like pretty difficult for Game and Watch. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of Game and Watch's hardest matchups. I see probably Dreamland because it increases. Game and Watch's, Watch's survivability, yeah, a little better. All right, mm -hmm. predicted right. Ooh, that nair right through the bacon. Yeah, so, so I mean, Swedish is probably just gonna try to just space, just space him out, just try to wall, or give him no options. Ooh. Swedish tried to steal the ledge right out from under him, but uh Try to get the up smash. Sweet spot up smash. Reverse forward air. Okay. Yep, that's gonna be it for game of watch. Yeah, Corb is actually really like really, really consistent at sweet spotting. Because mm -hmm. he has he has like a certain like technique to do it. It's like some sort of visual cue. Mm -hmm. To always get it, so he's really, really consistent at it. Ooh, gets torch. Beautiful fire poker. NJIT down to their last three stocks. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Game and Watch's grab is like really ambiguous. You can't really tell which way he's throwing you, so it's really difficult to DI it. So if he DI, if he guesses wrong on the DI, he can get he can get smacked around. He can get chain grabbed. Yeah. It's also really like because like Corb is so consistent at sweet spotting, it's so really hard to edge guard him. So really, he really just has to play solid and just try to kill him off the sides. Oh, went deep for that. Deep. That was a that was a really good read because he knows Bird likes to sweet spot a lot. Oh wow! And he takes a quick 
another stock. quick stock. Alright, Rucker's on the verge of winning his crew battle. That's fair. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Nice snare from the ledge. That's going to be it. Uh, Rutgers takes it. Yeah, it was it was just too much for Querb. It's like it's a really tough matchup. Mm. All right, so I think we're continuing with doubles. I oh believe. no, are we playing right now? Yeah. God damn it. Is there a vending machine? I'm starving. Are you doing doubles? Nah. Alright, so we got Pitt coming in. 